Hi, I'm Kayla. Did you know that students who use MobyMax Math increase an average of one and a half grade levels with just 40 hours of use? MobyMax Math finds and fixes the math skills that students are missing with our K-8 comprehensive curriculum. When a student first signs into the math module, they will begin with a placement test that will determine the grade level to place the student based on which math skills they know. Once the student finishes the placement test, you will be able to see the results. It's important to note, the placement test is adaptive. This means that no two students will take the exact same lessons because their skill sets are different. Two students might take the placement test and receive the same grade level score, but will practice different skills. For instance, here you can see that both Aaron and Lillian scored a 5.1 on their placement test. However, they each have different skills, and I'll show you how you can see what their missing skills are. If we click on Aaron's 5.1 grade level result, we can see his proficiency on every domain and standard in the Common Core. We see that although he scored a 5.1 grade level, he is missing some skills in kindergarten, specifically in geometry with shapes. And we can see here in his lesson sequence, he's been assigned kindergarten lessons on those skills. Now, we can go back and look at Lillian's placement test score. When we click on her 5.1 result, we see that she is missing some skills in second grade in adding and subtracting with unknowns. And again, when we look at the lesson sequence, we can see that she is currently working on that second grade skill that she is missing. So, although Aaron and Lillian both had a 5.1 result, their lesson sequence is completely different and they are only practicing the skills they are missing. It is so common for us to hear from teachers that students are missing math skills from two or even three years ago and finding the time and resources to intervene and help students with those missing skills is so challenging. The great thing about Mobi is all of this is done for you automatically. The lessons start with an animated Teach Me lesson that explains the skill and is followed by a simple success question. The simple success question walks the student through the problem to make sure the student really understands the concept. Then, the student gets to work with the concept with some manipulatives before practicing the skill. In this manipulative, the student gets to move numbers around in the correct order to teach the student the math skill counting up to 20. Some of the other manipulatives in the math curriculum include comparing fractions with unlike denominators, or learning how to skip count by tens by dragging and dropping. If the student passes the first practice set, they'll move on to a different skill instead of continuing to practice a math skill that they've already mastered. But if the student does not pass the first practice set, they will be given a second practice set on that same skill. And if they pass practice set two, they will move on to a new skill. If the student does not pass practice set two, they will be given practice set three on that skill. And if they still do not pass, they will be given practice set four. This way, we can be sure the student learns the skill. As students complete lessons, you will have access to detailed information on how students are progressing. If you click on the lessons tab, and then a student's name, you can see all of the scores for the students completed lessons. If you click on the show all students and then on the current lesson, you will see the scores for each lesson. If you click on the lesson topic score, you will be able to see each question the student answered incorrectly. We can see here that this student answered three for how many ounces of plum tomatoes Derek used. However, 
when we take a look at the answer feedback, we see the answer is actually 18. And we can see that this student only spent 8 seconds on the question. With this information, we can see that perhaps the student did not spend enough time on the question and just entered a number. As your students go through the lessons, their progress will be automatically tracked here under Progress. And we'll see a broad view of students beginning and ending grade level. And if we click on a student's name, we can see how he or she is performing. Here, we see a summary report with the beginning and ending grade level broken down by grade level proficiency. And the continual progress graph gives you a visual of your student's progress. We can even get more specific data if we click on the detailed history link here. And we can see the student's proficiency on every grade, domain, and standard. Another section that Moby uses for progress monitoring is tests. If you want a quick review of the specific standard or skill that you are reviewing in your class, you can assign a test. If you check boxes for student's name and then click the Assign New Test button, you can assign an assessment by grade level, standard, or even specific skill. If you click on one of the standards, you can choose the skills that you can test on that standard. Then you can reassign lessons on that skill or go over the skill in your classroom based on the data that Moby gives you. Lastly, there is a snapshot page that gives you an at-a-glance view of what the students are working on right now. If you click on a student's name, you will see the student dashboard report. The dashboard gives you a quick overview of students' progress and work. Parents can also access this information through the parent portal to check on how their student is doing. MobyMax Math will find and fix your students' missing math skills. Simply have your students log in and watch them practice and become proficient quickly.